Mercedes struggled in 2022, and big questions are being asked as to whether the team can turn their misfortunes around as we head into 2023. And Mercedes have revealed more information regarding their progress. And on top of that, more information has come to light regarding Hamilton's future within the team. This is one you don't want to miss, guys, so sit back, relax, and be sure to subscribe for more Formula 1 content. And with that said, let's get down to it. With the change in 2022 of moving to ground effect cars, many teams face the issue of bouncing and porpoising, with Mercedes being one of the teams that seem to suffer the most from this. In order to counteract the effects of porpoising, Mercedes went as far as raising the ride height and sacrificing performance, as well as falling behind in terms of development as they struggled to overcome the issue late into the season. Since then, George Russell has admitted that these issues cost them months in the development race, and he was quoted as saying, As Toto has said, we spent months and months trying to solve the problem. To be honest, it probably cost us eight months because of all the development we did before the season. It kind of went back in the bin and we started from zero again. Now Mercedes did begin to see glimpses of hope throughout the season, but not really until very late on when the championship had been all but wrapped up by Max Verstappen and Red Bull. We saw Hamilton have a good battle with Verstappen in Austin, and Russell secure Mercedes' first victory of the season at the Brazilian Grand Prix, which showed that Mercedes were heading in the right direction looking ahead to the 2023 season which left Russell excited about where the team is heading, and he added, Our main focus is on Red Bull because they are the team to beat. It's probably not a comparison that many people have drawn, but if you look at the start of the year, we were actually qualifying and finishing behind Haas and Alfa Romeo. At some races, Alfa Romeo were actually faster than us, like at Imola. Valtteri was chasing me down back in P9. Haas was out qualifying us, and obviously they don't have quite the development that we probably do. Obviously, Ferrari and Red Bull probably develop at a similar rate to us, but we close that gap substantially. And that's the exciting thing for 2023. For all of you who watched the entire race weekend, you probably already know that Hamilton revealed his plans to sign a new contract extension, which will see him continue to race with Mercedes past the 2023 season. Now, although Mercedes, Wolf and Hamilton are keen to get a deal done, there have been delays due to Hamilton's off-season travelling lifestyle, but Wolf expects a new contract will be in place before the reveal of the W14, which is due to take place on February the 15th. We have a full year to go. We're so aligned. In the last 10 years, our relationship has grown that it's just a matter of him physically being back in Europe, sticking our heads together, wrestling a bit, and then leaving the room with white smoke after a few hours. Now, in terms of a contract length, it's rumoured that this will likely be a two-year extension, although Hamilton has made it very clear that he does not see a specific point where he thinks his career should end. I'm not putting a limit on it, to be honest. I'm planning to do a multi-year deal with my team. I really, really don't know what the next five years hold. I think we're still trying to work on that. I think there's more stuff to achieve together. I just don't know for how long. So it's pretty clear that Hamilton is going to be staying on with Mercedes. It's just a matter of getting the paperwork finalised. But regardless of contracts... I feel that 2023 is building up to be such an exciting season. I already can't wait to see what all the teams are going to bring to the table and how the new rookies will perform. But what are you looking forward to most about next season? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. But that's the video for me today, guys. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's content. And until the next time, bye bye.